sponsor to ensure that league is top class. So with Roma, the only team in the in the league so far to get a victory, you could see they're desperate because today is the first day of the transfer window and they already splashed 25 millions on Lauren Frost. <laughs> so in the team sheet of Roma challengers, we also see the former Jamaica middle of the batsman Barry. <laughs> so the opening bowler for Gibraltar Royals is the man called DJ Distance. Ever slick. Ever slick. Ever slick. Oh, 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 yes. oh, 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 the man Mali sporting the number four. This man struck a brilliant 40 head in the previous game. Yes! Watch him out, watch him out! And that's a wide. <laughs> okay, okay. Is there a brush pants? So, DJ Distance once more to Jimmy Cliff. Oh, oh and that's smash! Come on, catch up. Chuck him, chuck him. <laughs> and this is good feeling. Come on, go watch him, man. Make him run. Go watch him, man. Go watch him, man. Make him run. Go watch him, man. 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 Go watch man. So please remember this is a 10 over per side. One bowler is We'll jump off. Win. So, one of the, the one of the the most difficult this missile in cricket is called it wicket. If you swing off a delivery and crush your stump, you're automatically out. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Boss out. Come on, come on, Moussa. You want to go back to the white team? Watch the ball. Don't replay on them, man. Don't play this is young fighter, man. Go sit down. Yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. By the man called Mali for four. See him here, see him here. Come on, you! Come on, you! Man! So, Roma challenges up to five. They're five for one. The man dismisses Jimmy Cliff. Hit wicket for a duck. So, here is DJ Distance up to Mali. Oh, and that's a brilliant shot. And that was cut away. And we should have four. Zimba, go and play for. So Roma already nine runs off the first over with DJ Distance traveling. So in a 10 overs game. So at the end of over number one, the score is nine for one. So Roma off to a brilliant start. So in this 
format. Five bowlers can bowl two Watch overs. Him, no bowler can bowl more than two overs. Watch your ball. It's important that Watch the batsman ball. execute. Guess him for So guess now him. we have the Roma challengers, big bat, grandson. Guess him. Six. Watch him. Oh. So Rajay with the top balls of four. Warm up, grandson. Warm up. Watch him. Watch him. One more. Watch him. Watch him. Good. I won. You can't come and go to the other. So grandson seems like he's playing test match cricket. Yo, we are the winner. So once more, Rajay up to ball to grandson. Come oh, on, man. Great delivery by Rajay. Watch him, my brother. Enough to move, my lad. With grandson at sea so far. Yo, enough to move this ball, my brother. <laughs> so once more, Raji up to grandson. Oh, and that's another brilliant delivery. So this is why we have decided to go to the T10 because it's ball beating from ball one, but grandson is playing test match cricket. So the score after over number two, Roma challengers speeding up to 19 for one. After grandson was playing test match cricket, his teammate pile on the pressure and he had to. <laughs> so can Roma challengers be the first team to win a 10 over match at the multi purpose stadium? Watch him first, yeah. So it's the big bowler Watch called was a rust now. Watch him. Yes. Oh, and that was choked to mid wicket for a single. Yes, so the batsman sporting the number four, the man called Mali. Seems like a very technical player. Yeah. So it was a rust up to ball to grandson. So, so, so Roma challenges up to 21 for one. We're in over number three. Please remember this is the T10 blast. You have to dismiss deliveries to the boundary. So here is the Gibraltar Royal Seema was a ras up to ball to Bali. Oh, and that was smash. Oh, and it's in the boundary for six. The feeler didn't realize where. And Mali has smashed that over long on for six. Watch your breeze, watch your breeze, Mali, watch your breeze. So Roma already up to 27. One more. Oh, and that's in the air. Yes, man. And it's gone for another six. Over to the top pass of ten. Yes, man. So Ozaras. Ozaras is under pressure. He seems like he needs to. Rediscover his locks to help him out. So once more. So Roma challengers pumped up today, looking to to make history. They will be the first winner of the T10. But Gibraltar Royals have different ideas. Oh, and that's a good delivery. That's a brilliant comeback by Wazaras. So 
So was a rass with a good comeback. With Mali showing respect to a good back of a let delivery. So here is was a rass once more. Oh, and that's a good delivery. And that was pull away. Can Carlos cut it off? Oh, and that was a brilliant effort. And that's him today. Square leg boundary for four. So Roma challenges. Quickly. So after over number three, the Roma challengers is up to 37. They're looking set for 120. Slash presidential candidate for the Gelding Club. <laughs> oh, and that's a good delivery by Carlos. <laughs> so, grandson seems like he's batting with a strainer so far. So, Roma challengers 37 for one. We're into over number four in a T10 match. Can they get a hundred? See that? So now we have the new recruit, the man who was purchased for 25 million euros. This is the man who have gold medals in I am in a well <laughs> table tennis. Oh God. So, after Bird investing this new recruit, his salary is 500 US per game. Can he deliver? Come on, Lauren! Lauren! Oh, he's playing for bad light, but the sun is very hot. So, that was a super over by Carlos. A main, also a wicket in it. So Roma challengers, after getting off to a brilliant start, they're now 37 for two, after over number four. So with six overs pending, can Roma get up to 100? So now, Gibraltar Royal Skipper has turned to Christopher Columbus. Chris. Can he discover the wicket of Mali? So Christopher Columbus has strike again. He has gotten the wicket of the dangerous Mali. One more duck, one more duck, six One more duck, six ducks. <laughs> so now we have the president of the Gelvin Club at the crease, the man called Man Brown. So Christopher Columbus up to ball to Samuel Brown. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> so Christopher Columbus is hey, a chick. We don't make it now, we don't make it so. <laughs> so Roma Challengers has self destruct. <laughs> They're 37 for 4. Oh God. <laughs> So the man at the crease now is never skill cool. <laughs> oh, and that's a wide, that's a poor delivery with Christopher Columbus looking for an attic. So now Roma is 38 for four. <laughs> oh, oh, and that was a juicy full toss. You could see, never looking to hit that one to set Titus, computer room. Second, oh, and that's a good comeback by Christopher Columbus. Come on, Romy, don't jump, no catch. Oh, and that's beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, the umpire says it's a wide. Just beating the charm line. So, Romy now 39. Yeah, you need to go down next. That's a beautiful flight and delivery. A little bit of drift on it. And never skill call knew nothing about it. So Roma after a brilliant start. They're in a bit of trouble now. Challengers looking to recover things. So that's the end of over number five, and the score is 40 for four with five overs pending. Can the big money sign in Lauren Frost? Can the big money sign in Lauren Frost? Get Roma Challengers up to 100. That would be very competitive in a 10 overs match. So, Lauren Frost, after being brought into the island. Oh, that's a brilliant shot by Lauren Frost. That's much over White Lava for six. So, Lauren Frost already repaid 1% of his transfer. So can Lauren Frost hit a quick fire 40 or 50 runs? Oh, and that was hedge away. Oh, and that's brilliant running by Never Skill Cole, showing his 100 meter champs skill set. Bad road, bad road, bad road. So call us up to never. Oh, and that's another wide. And we're into over number 
We're into over number six. Can Roma get up to that magical 100 meter mark? So, Carlos once more. So, Neville so far is struggling to get back to ball. I'm not sure if his eyesight is is good enough. No, 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 no. Yo, no, go work. So at the end of over number six, Roma challengers is 53 for four. So four over spending. That's 24 deliveries. Can Roma challengers get 47 runs to reach 100? Because the Gibraltar Royals possess some good batters with keeper Reno. They have also signed the master batsman Berry. This is a man with 13 half centuries and 16 half centuries in his career. He's brought out of retirement. Oh, and that smash is in the air. And Carlos is under it. Oh, and that's a brilliant catch. Was unable to muscle that over the boundary. So Lauren Frost is back in the pavilion for seven. So Christopher Columbus once more. So Never so far. Never has faced nine deliveries and he has been unable to get the bat on ball so far. Seems like he's batting with a tennis racket. So Roma challengers looking to for quick runs. Oh, and this is brilliant bowling by Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus in his final over already taken three wickets. Oh, and that was smoke deep into the pig pen stand for six. That's 15 rows back. That hit was measured at 115 meters. So never skill call. Oh, and that's a broad. So Gibraltar looking to restrict Roma for 180. Roma now up to 60 for five. Oh, and that was smashed. That was a super shot by never skill call. And that's 15 rows back into the cow pass is time for six. <laughs> so never skill call. Seems like he got the memo that this is a 10 over blast. So Roma up to 66 for five. Wow, the one good. So with three overs to go. So with three overs to go. Now we have the Roma challenger skipper. The man called Damien Wintercoot Diver. Oh, we're gonna cut it short because the scorer is unable to write down all the name in the scoring book. <laughs> oh, so Romy seems like he's keeping with a tennis, with a trampoline in his hand. He's unable to grab a ball so far. So here is DJ Distance, hump up to Wintercoot. So this is Millard running by the Wintercoot. So 67 for 5. Batsman dismissed so far. 
He's Mali for 26. Christian Jimmy for a duck. <laughs> oh, that was pulled away. That was a brilliant shot by Nevis Steel Cole. He to the half pen stand for another six. That's what you want to perform. I don't mean. I don't mean. We have Lauren Frost dismissed for seven. Grandson for a very boring 11. With never skill call, looking to dispatch DJ Distance once more. Oh, and that's a better delivery. That's a good comeback by Yai Ball. And we have the regular. And we have Man Brown, the president of the Gelding Club, showing his consistency with his six consecutive ducks. Five of those ducks was clean bowled. His batting average so far is 0.0, .0 minus one. I'm sure Beachy. I'm sure Beachy will, will have something to say about his dismissal. This is a man who was a holder for Clarkstown in leather ball cricket. So Roma is at 73 for 5. We, we're now into over number 9. So two overs to go. Come on, Winter Coat. Come on. So it was a rush up to Winter Coot. So Winter Coot. <laughs> Make sure I fifth time you say that. So what's the rest now? Up to ball to cha chow chow chow. Chow come on chow! It looks so well. You can see. Get on a seat, man. Get on a seat. So, was a rass in the middle of a very good over. Up to ball to cha chow chow chow. Come on, cha chow, man. Come on, cha chow, man. That is another stump. This is brilliant keeping there. <laughs> to be honest, I'm a rock star. he tried that about 15 times. I'm a rock star. So now, heading to the crease is another new recruit, the man called Boki. Much money for him. Boki. He was signed on a loan deal. <laughs> <laughs> so Roma so far is now pinned down at 73. Can the Roma challengers batsman get never on strike? Right on, for 7. So it was a rush. Along with the T20 champion, ready to spot an all rounder, the man called Yam. 
So what's the rest? What's your name? So Roma, this is the final over of the match with the score on 76. Can Stepper get Neville on strike? Because Neville is striking at 175. Can Stepper get Neville on strike? Or will? So it's Rajay with the final over. Can he restrict Roma challenges? Oh, and that was smashed by Stepper. Over wide, long on for six. So Roma now, 81 for seven. So the score is 81 for 8. We're into the final over of this Super 10 Blast. Can step at this match, Rajay, once more. Oh, and that's a wide. One more wicket left in the morning. Here they come. You're not saying that, Ben. Make you make you under. Make you under. It don't really matter. They don't need so six. I'm not going to be under. Three six, we say. So the batsman dismiss. It's now 82 for nine. We have Mali who made 26, Jimmy Maker Duck, grandson for 11, the big money signing Lawrence Frost, unable to reach double figures, only made 7, Man Brown with his usual ducks. So the man at the crease is Green Banana. Oh, and that's brilliant keeping by Romy. Can, can Banana Chips get Neville on strike? So it's Roger up to Banana Chips. So two deliveries to go. Oh God. Can Neville dispatch these two deliveries. So it's Rajay up to Neville. Oh, that was much. That was a super shot by Neville. Into the square like boundary for six. So Roma. So Roma up to 90. That's a good total. With the final deliveries, delivery to go. Oh, 
So Raji, with the final delivery. Can never dispatch this one. Oh, and that was pulled away, and that's a brilliant shot by Neville. So the score. So Roma has finished on a very good 94. 94 for nine off ten overs. Yeah man, I want to that man. Yeah man. One two man. One two that. <laughs> so the top scorer in the Roman innings is Neville with a quick fire 32. He was brilliantly backed up by Mali with 26. We have to also make mention of Samuel Brown. Come on man Brown! Wait, they want to get you. What I mean, I be score this. Make sure you know too. Yeah, no. When you say I lose, I feel can't feel the go on there. I want to react. We have one mission. We have one mission. I want to keep the old road that they be at. I want to react. I want to react. You think we all feel no way? We not feel no way. Your bumper get too big now, man. You're black. You can't see. Full time, full time. Come on, Roman. Yes, yes. So we have the Roman challenges. Open bowler. Chow, 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 chow. Come on, man, bro. You can't catch. What kind of position that? Oh, that was smashed by Romy. Over the yes, Romy. Set for six. Yes, Romy. I saw you flick them. About 50 rows back. Clipper of the leg. Brilliant shot by Skipper Romy. Just the car flick runs, man. Oh, and that's a very good comeback by Cho 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 Cho. Oh, good bowling by Cho. Is there Romy? So Cho. No, my man, bro, no, Cho Cho is half, half Chinese, half Jamaican. That's how his name, Chow, Mr. Chow. Chow. <laughs> so Mr. Chow up to Romy. Oh, yes. that's a good delivery. Just back off a length. You could see Man Brown very motivated in the outfield hey. after showing his superior consistency with his six consecutive ducks. <laughs> one over is One over, one over. One, I one, I one. So at the end of over number one, the score is six without loss. Gibraltar Royals looking for come on, come on, come on, come on. 95 runs to win. <laughs> so now we have the man called Grandson. So the Roma Challengers keeper, Damian Ankerman with the cool Fraser. As Rotten Jimmy Cliff, the man in his desert clocks. Yeah, man, clock, so. Oh, and that was a brilliant shot by Carlos. Smash over wide, long on for six. So Gibraltar Royals seems like they're looking to smash this total in five overs. Oh, and that's another brilliant shot. That was smash. You go up there, you go up there. You go up there, you go up there. Either that in video. 
share to my channel and subscribe to see the next video coming out and hit the icon bell seen and see the next video when it come out seen subscribe button right there so yeah man just press it yeah man like and share watch your views more and some more views give me some more views seen yes to people respect our manners from the jimmy cliff over <laughs> so Roma has turned to Skillers who is coming off a 15 ball 32 Kenny get the breakthrough with Gibraltar Royal two most dangerous batsmen at the crease So it's never skill call up to Romy. Come on, oh, and that's wide. Come on, Nara. Come on, Nara. Come on, Nara. That's Roman. another wide. Right. So you could hear the Roma challenger's keeper, the man called Wintercoot. Yeah. Oh, and that was smashed to mid wicket for four. That's a brilliant shot out of the middle of the bat. So, Gibraltar Royals pressing gas right now. They are already 28 without loss. And we're into over number three. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's a monstrous hit. That was a savage hit for six. So Gibraltar Royals is in a hurry. Oh, and that's a good comeback by Neville. Oh, uh, Better delivery. Man Brown at work. Yeah, man, yeah, man. man Brown at work. Come on, Come on, So the score, 34th without loss. Oh, and that's a good comeback by Neville. Yeah. That's a better delivery. Yeah. Just back off a lens, spinning back. What is that, man? What is that? Oh, and that's good feeling by the man called Grandson. He is the 15th grandson of his grandmother. <laughs> I mean, he's <it's> my son. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got the name. He's a favorite grandson.
I'm gone, I'm gone. Oh, what is it? So that was a brilliant delivery by Neville. Yeah, man, it's a brilliant man. So they have gotten it dangerous, Carlos. This is a very big wicket. The man Carlos, who does run singles. So he's. Alright, Carlos, easy, Carlos. Carlos, stop easy. So Carlos back in the pavilion for a quick fire 16. With the score now on 34 for one. So the bowler that is now, the man called yeah, Samuel Brown, he's yeah, the distinguished president of yeah, the Kelvin Club. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was pulled away by Christopher Columbus. Yeah, yeah. Columbus. And Christopher Columbus was quickly into position. Smashed yeah, that over white square leg for six. No more, nobody's not going to so can the distinguished president of the Gelding Club oh. get another wicket? <laughs> so it's Samuel Brown. Oh, that's another vicious hit. That's deep into the bamboo stand for six. That's about 15 rows back into the bamboo stand. That was measured at 135 meters. Come on, man, bro, better than that. The first time I go and duck, I know. So, Gibraltar up to 46 for one. What is, 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 Oh, and this is good bowling. No, no, but so that's a no ball. Is it a free no ball and a free hit? So this is a free hit for Romy. The only way it can be dismissed is by a run out. Come on, boy. Come on, boy, Brown. Come on. Oh, and that's a good delivery by a man, Brown. That was a slow delivery. Who did get that virus? How are you dead? You know, you're not in trouble. You can go get your phone. You can go get your camera. You have black camera. Who did get that virus? Yes. What is wrong? So, this. The score is 46 for one. That was hard. That's way to the wild side stand. So the score is now 54 for one. At the end of over number four, so Gibraltar Royals. So Gibraltar Royals saying yes at the moment. Camera on you, camera. So Gibraltar Royals now recording 41 runs from six overs. So Gibraltar need 41 from 36 deliveries. And the Roma Challengers keeper, Damien Ankerman, Diver, Wintercoot, Fraser, is now on the attack, sponsored by Puma. Easy, Romy, easy. They want the hat. So Christopher Columbus turning down the single. It seems like Christopher Columbus is about to tee off like he's on a golf course. But can Wintercoat get another wicket? Oh, and that was smashed straight. That was hit like a trace of bullet. He 
into the cup and stand for another six. So Christopher Columbus looking in like he's in a hurry. Seems like he has a hot date at six. So the score is now 60. Is oh, it? That was smart bowling by Wintercoat. Wintercoat, this is the man with one of the best crab catching track record. Oh, it was smash! That was a savage hit by Christopher Columbus. What? So Cassava Columbus showing no sign Cassava, dear. of wishing Wintercoat Happy New Year because that was smoke into the cup and stand for another six. So Gibraltar now 66 for one. <laughs> so news just coming into the comment here is that Christopher Columbus is a JP. So he's trying to make sure he under the curfew time. So he's gonna wrap this up quickly. But Winter Coot have had ideas. Yeah! Oh, that's a brilliant Yokele delivery. You could see Christopher Columbus have to get his big toe out of the way. That was a brilliant delivery by Winter Coot. This is the man who got hit 10 years ago catching a big crab. And his final word was Marvel. Remember to give mommy the big claw. <laughs> oh God. So now Roma Challengers, Roma Challengers has turned back to grandson. Oh, and that's a good off cut delivery. You could see it brushing the, 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 the do rag off Reno. So the wicket of Reno will be a very good wicket at this oh and that's a brilliant delivery by grandson so at the moment if roma challengers can pick up the wicket of reno this contest will be on a knife hedge can grandson get this big wicket oh and that's a good stroke We have two of them straight, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the Roma challengers of the Sun Brothers on the crease. Yo. And the field, grandson and my son. Two of them are chewing me up to pop off me. Like and he's in the air. Can never get home. And that's a good attempt. Roma, you now move. Roma, you now move. Roma, you now move. The master batsman Gregory has gotten a life. He's a very bad Romy. Stand up, man. Yeah. Oh, and that's another shot. And Gregory. And the wind has blown over Gregory. Gregory is hot. Oh, and that's a good delivery by grandson. So you could see the Roma challengers back in it. That was a brilliant main over. He also. <laughs> so Gibraltar Royals recurring another 28 runs from 4 overs so 28 runs needed from 24 deliveries legal that's legal delivery can Roma challengers bring this one down to the wire oh and that's another wide so this is the last thing that Roma need now is wide deliveries yeah so we have the half the Chinese, half Jamaican, Mr. Chow. Oh, and that's another wide. That's poor bowling by Chow 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 Chow. Come on, Chow. Eh? Oh, 
Anka man easy you know, man, and him too long for call. Oh, and that was smashed by Romy. <laughs> Into the wild side stand for another vicious six. So, we could hear somebody crying out in the wild side bar. That ball hit a buckle of Hennessy. <laughs> oh, and that was pulled away. And you could see one of the, the Sun Twins, grandson, struggling to get around. So the score is now 79. So Romy looking to finish the things off. Oh, and that's another wide. So Roma, Roma throwing things away after got, getting three quick wickets. They're struggling. They're struggling to bowl accurate. Oh, and that's another brilliant shot off the back foot over long on. That's a very difficult shot to play. But Romy, mean business today. Challenges is now under severe pressure. Oh, that's another brilliant shot. That was hit way out of the stand for six. So Roma now, so Gibraltar now requiring three runs. We are not lucky if we get nobody. You don't worry yourself. No, I'm going to buy them, buy them. You don't see every fat, you don't see every fat, you don't see every fat. You don't see every fat, you don't see every fat. You don't see every fat. And that was pulled away for another six and that's the end of the game. So Roma challenges after getting back into the game. Has bowled two very poor overs to throw the match away. So, Romeo, can you raise your bat? That was a brilliant 51 by the Gibraltar Royal skipper. <laughs> Angie, not even this match. <laughs> so, Gibraltar Royal has put their name in the history book. They are the first team to win a T10 match here at the Top Town Sports Club Multi-Purpose Stadium as we launch the T10 Blast that is coming up in mid-January and so the Roma Challenger skipper Wintercourt to make his way to the commentary area for a quick word <laughs> so we have the Gibraltar Royal skipper Romeo. So Romeo, this is a very historic game, the first T10 match at this ground. Know the fame of saying Romeo must die. <laughs> Romeo said he wanted to live. I want to live. I can see that you have a, a slightly weak in team today. Yeah. However, you stuck right through the innings to ensure that you get over the line. What was the game plan today, Romeo? Bravo, you said it already. So the game plan is I cannot get out. Because with my luck at the crease, I cannot depend on another batsman. And I have the confidence within myself that I can stay there and do it all. So the, the game plan is that I am going to bat right through, regardless of who out by my side, it really matter. But may must stay there and steer the ship. I saw where you gave Christopher Columbus a promotion up to number three. 
Is it because now we're into the T10 and he came out and smashed 25 from nine deliveries? Yeah, that, that's the idea because Chris is a fast scoring batsman. I, you don't want him to go at the tail. You know, so to get the best out of Chris, you have to send down one down. And then these are kind of um, settings. Okay, at one point, Roma Challengers was in the game. When three Kukovics fell, you guys needed 36 from 24 deliveries. So, another wicket there, and Roma would be in the game. However, a quick fire over, I think it was from Wintercoat, that went for about 25 quickly in the game as a contest. What do you have to say to your bowlers for restricting the, um, the Roma Challengers team for under 100? A big congrats to all our bowlers who represent Gibraltar. Iba, Raje, Carlos, Reds, Gregory, even though he never bowled them, but he bowled all of the bowlers. If you don't know, hear me, I never see a ball. You know me, I say I never bowled none, but you're just a bowler. All right, so all of the bowlers, them congrats. Whether you're a bowler or not, without a bowler, we can't win a match. So, Romy, just want to say congrats. This is the launch of the T10. In a week or so, we'll get right into the tournament where there are tougher challengers lying ahead. So, we're calling the Roma challengers skipper Damien Fraser, Wintercoat, Anchorman Diver. Bird. So, Roma Challengers manager here, Wasness, as Carl is vice captain, Jimmy Cliff. So, Jimmy, you guys got off to a very quick start. I think you guys were at 30 for one in over number three. That's a very good scoring rate. But you guys lost three wickets with the same total of 37. What happened in the in the um in the batting for Roma Challengers? Well we come back start and we play carpet. Well there are some good bowler and go on the side. And we quite happy with them. They're doing the best. Well, we will meet again. So Jimmy Cliff, just wanna check on your your most experienced batsman, the man called Samuel Brown. He's the district he's the president of the Gelding Club. <laughs> this is a man who has played over 70 at games in Little Bar Cricket for Clarkstone, winning five titles in the SDC League. However, in tennis ball cricket, he's now in six consecutive ducks. Will he be playing in the next game? Yes. Well, we're going to be honest, child. We're going to have... Last one. Last one. <laughs> I'm going to him. Right. Right. Um. So, um, Jimmy, after, after two, after a brilliant innings by Neville, I think Neville made 32 from 15 deliveries. Also a very quick 26 by Mali at the top of the order. Did you think 94 was a good total to defend? Yes. Well, it's a good total, yeah. Yes. But the last, you know, the middle of the morning. Yes. Well, the two over last in the game. Yes. So, we have to get that. Okay, Jimmy, just want to say thanks for launching this T10 and looking forward to see Roma Challengers in the league in a few weeks' time. Because in the league, each team will play about five games. So I'm sure Roma will get a chance to take revenge. Everybody will play everybody. So Roma can take revenge against Gibraltar Royals. So many thanks to everybody who came out. I just want to say Sunday at 2.30 p.m. We have the Top Town Sports Club Champions Cup where we're going to have the league champion ready to spa 